So I'm here in the Bowness neighborhood of Calgary, Alberta, to check out a restaurant. You're gonna love this. Three generations. And what kind of restaurant are they running up here in Calgary, Alberta? Go ahead, talk amongst yourselves. No, not Chinese. Of course, they're always great Chinese in Canada. No, no, not French. If that's too easy. Come on. You're right, Mexican. Mexican in Canada? Are you kidding me? Welcome to Salt and Pepper. Fish tacos, please, on the fly. To me, it's the most authentic Mexican food. The flavors are unmatched. Beef fajitas. The three generations are amazing. We have Alex and Alex and Silvio. It's the grandfather, father, son trifecta, and they've been giving Canadians the flavors from Silvio Solano's homeland since he opened in 1988. Where are you from originally? Oaxaca. What kind of Mexican food are we doing? Most of the traditional from all over the Mexican world. So you're taking the best it's from right. around Mexico. I've had almost everything on the entire menu, and it's always changing, too. Chilaquiles pick up. Had the chili chilaquiles today. It's like a corn chips casserole with some melted cheese and pickled onion, too. Magic on a plate. What are we making now? Green chilaquiles. Start with a mirepoix. Is this a stick? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato sauce. Cayenne. Oregano. Salt and pepper. Garlic. Chili powder. Cumino and... Si, senor. Turmeric. And this right here is just cooked chicken thigh and breast? That's right. This will just start to shred apart as it cooks inside. Right, and that's why we use this. Because if we use the like metal spoon, it'll right. start cutting it up too soon. That's why. How long are we gonna let this stew down? 25 minutes. And just a little bit of water. And that's all she wrote. For the chile verde sauce, we blend onions. Grilled garlic and jalapeno. A lot of cilantro. And then the tomatillos that have been grilled and then boiled in a little bit of water, so all that juice goes in together, all the flavor. That's right, pepper and salt. And a touch of water. Uh, what do we have next? Very basic cheese. We've got the uh, milk up to temp. 100 what degrees. Temp? Lime uh, juice? Just lime juice and a little bit of vinegar. Okay. Let this curdle, and then we're just gonna separate it. Squeeze out any last liquid and add salt. Let it rest and be ready for service. Yes. Let's see this. Your butter's on in a little cilantro and onion mixture. Interesting. I haven't seen this happen. Chicken. And then the salsa. The tortillas. This is when the magic happens. So you take these chips and you dump them right into the salsa. You're gonna yes. toss this around and they're almost gonna get a little wet. And it is a combination between like a deconstructed enchilada meets a soggy, soggy nacho. nacho. Thank yes. you. We just plate it, mozzarella, and then into the salamander. You're gonna brown that cheese a little bit with beans and rice, crema. More of the cilantro and onions. Pickled onions, a bit of queso fresco. And that's all she wrote. Color, no, we're gonna keep going here. Oh, and one there chip. One. <laughs> one crispy chip. You bury me in this. It was great. You get a lot of great tang, a lot of acid. You get the, you know, the tender chicken. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. I have the chilaquiles verde. The chilaquiles is my favorite dish. The chicken is super moist and very flavorful. It's the spicing and the flavors that connect with your mouth. Connect with your mouth. Seriously. I've been coming to Salt and Pepper for a little over 10 years now. Why is it called Salt and Pepper? We buy restaurant with this name. And you so kept the change. sign. Yeah. yeah, they didn't have money to change it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the menu is so great. It's hard to pick just one, but the combination platter, you get to try a little bit of everything. Carnita tacos for the combo. This is spectacular. The combination poblana. I got a combination plate, which had chili relleno, enchilada with mole, and carnitas taco. I love it. How are we starting things off, Alex? This is carnitas okay. for the tacos. Pork shoulder cuts, black pepper, oregano, cumin. Garlic powder. Canela. Si. Huh? Huh? Muy bien. I don't know how to say clovelito. Clavos. Clavos. Onion, garlic. Orange. Lime juice. Cola with the sugar. Lard and salt. And hit it with a liquid and, and braise it? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. This manteca we've been using for about a year and a half. It's just a flavor bomb in itself. Slow roast it for how long? Three hours. Then take it off the bone, separate the fat, shred the meat. We add a little bit of the juices from the marinade. What are we gonna work on next? We're gonna do the mole that goes on the enchilada on the combination platter. And the enchilada is stuffed with the chicken that we made for the chilaquiles. Exactly. Starting to yeah. figure this wow. guy out. A little oil. That's a mole paste. Got it. Cocoa powder, sugar, and tomato, water, paprika, garlic powder. Canela, with the little string so you can find it. That's right. Black pepper, Mexican chili powder, ground cloves, cayenne, cumin. Bay leaf. Chicken base, salt, Give it a lot a of volume water with water. To that. We're gonna let this cook down how long, chef? Three hours. 
Next is the chili relleno. Yes, but we're gonna make the tomato sauce first. Got it. Oil. The mirepoix. Tomato sauce, water, and then pepper, salt. Granulated garlic. Ground cloves. cloves. Paprika. And oregano. Sugar. Cinnamon sticks. We're gonna stir it up, and then we're gonna let it simmer. Oh, no stick! No, my stick. Big one. <laughs> let that cook down. Last we gotta do is build the chili relleno. Okay, our pepper, they've been peeled and deseeded. Mozzarella. Dipped into a little bit of flour. So we're not deep frying these? They were deep fried before just to get the blistering, but now we're gonna do it like a pancake on the flat top. Dip it in the meringue. Really? And it doesn't take down the puffiness? Uh, as it cooks a little bit, it actually keeps them firm and then we fold it over and then again. Let's bring it together. This is the chicken filling with the tortilla around it for an enchilada. The chile relleno. And the carnitas. The mango salsa. Pickled onions. The tomato sauce and the chile relleno. Crema, cilantro. And then a little bit of the mole on the enchilada. And then some nice sesame seeds that have been toasted. The cheese. What are you gonna do? It's not a big round platter, clever in cheese, a bunch of sauce. It really makes you think that each one was individually made. Tulerianos, I love this grilled style. And that's a really good cook on a carnitas. You get the citrus and you get the clove and you get all that, that garlic and the onion, everything coming together. Tons of tradition inside of this. Combination ready. The carnitas taco, it has the real Mexican taste. Mole is absolutely fantastic. I like the combination of everything together. But the chili relleno is my very favorite. It's delicious. The guacamole going, please. A lot of other places you go to, it's all spicy and a lot of garlic, which you don't get here. This you can actually taste all the ingredients. Yes. You can taste it all. This is the spot that you want to be at. Absolutely amazing. Once I heard the story about your dad and about you and how this was passed down, I said, okay, I got to go check it out. And it was a great visit. Thank, Thank you. you.